Just like yesterday's video, I'm gonna play this trailer in its entirety and I want you to figure out what is wrong. As a mother, I would just say step away from the screen, go outside, get some fresh air. Beating Tetris is not a life goal. <laughs> Playing too many video games. Video games. Playing video games. One doctor uses the term digital heroin. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yes! Ah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Now, despite it being pretty chaotic and full of a lot of different things you can pick apart, there is one specific thing that uh, seemed to rile up the feathers of Twitter.com. I'll just say first and foremost, I hate the news anchor at the start of this video. I made a whole video on her. She sucks. But nope, that is not why we're here. I will show you the specific portion of why everyone seems to be so upset. But looking at this image, this roster here of creators that he plans to have in this speedrunning community, might I add for charity, I don't know if you can still quite see it if anything's poking your attention. You might notice something that is missing from this graphic, however. People that aren't white. Or dudes. <laughs> That's right. If you guessed because all of these people are white males, well then you win the grand prize of being able to like this here video. No, but in all seriousness, of course, of course, something that 90% of people that just watched this trailer for the first time would never notice is, of course, the catalyst of sending people on Twitter.com over the edge. Usually when I upload a video, I have a good idea of how it's going to be received, whether people liked it or didn't like it. And when I uploaded my last video, I knew a few of you would be upset because I basically duped you into watching an ad for my next event. However, I thought, fuck it, dude. It's my channel. The event's for charity. I should promote it. So I uploaded it anyway. However, what I didn't anticipate was a shit ton of people who were mad at me over on Twitter.com. And it's not for that reason at all. It's for something completely different. You might notice something that is missing from this graphic, however. People that aren't white. Or dudes. <laughs> There's a lot of white guys, all right? And I got a bit of heat for that online. How did Ludwig manage to put together 19 white guys and one Asian guy? <laughs> shout out Liam. And yeah, see, shout out Liam. It's, you know, people are so upset that they made posts about how this is all white guys. And then this one Asian guy, like the Asian guy doesn't matter, right? Like there was a reason that I didn't bring it up until just now that there was an Asian guy in this roster because you probably didn't notice it either. You probably didn't even notice they were all white because it's just a roster. For a speedrunning event, not one headlining woman. Uh, and then there's uh, and even more tweets. And by, and by the way, I should say this right now. I have tried to blur out as best I can everybody's name and identity. I never want people to go for bat for me. Don't 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 defend me, man. All right. All you should do is watch the thing that I put out. If you like it, hell yeah. If you don't, that's okay. Stop watching me. <laughs> But never feel the need to defend me. I'm okay. I can defend myself. I'm adult man in this world. And, 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 and I don't want anyone getting in battles on my behalf. So as we'll talk about in a little bit, I feel like Ludwig is like, don't go up to bat for me or whatever. I feel like it's not because he truly doesn't want anyone to defend him. I feel like it's because Ludwig is allergic to drama. As we kind of talked about yesterday, Ludwig likes to stay away from all drama. So I feel like it's just him kind of distancing himself from drama. And if people are publicly defending him or saying anything that re-enables people to bring the drama up again and again and again, Obviously, he's not gonna like that very much. You know, I never thought I'd give it to him, but the balls on Ludwig in this clip, I mean, he's right, you know? I would love to see the demographic of how many speedrunners there are that are white men. I mean, it seems like it dominates in that area. And keep in mind, I'm very limited knowledge on like speedrunning and stuff, but it, it does seem like it's a lot of white dudes. And of course, if he's putting on a speedrun event where he wants to get attention, he's gonna ask the most popular speedrunners. I mean, he even asked Charlie, you know, Moist Critical, who is not a speedrunner, but his name just being on the roster, his clip being in the trailer it's already going to bring people to watch this just for charlie uh anyway this tweet read why wait why is there not a single woman in ludwig's speedrun thing ain't no way uh and then gtm uh posted rightfully that that uh that uh, well here is just an example of uh, one woman who is participating in it and then they said that's good to hear i am happy that she will have that kind of opportunity to represent women in speedrunning it does feel last minute as a way to cover up the negligence but still dope to see and then laura uh thankfully confirmed uh no he actually contacted me way before the initial trailer dropped i just thought he didn't want me uh no, definitely wanted Laura. Laura's a great speedrunner. So, so you know, I'm not trying to sit here and tokenize and be like, yeah, I got this uh, fucking woman and this black dude and also this uh, 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 Asian guy. Like, that's that that's cringe. I don't need to tokenize the people who are going to my event. It is not all white dudes, okay? Th there are a lot of white guys. That is fair. 
But that's just because I asked people who I knew personally who are like speedrunning creators, and a lot of them happen to be white. Uh, and a lot of people were also upset that they weren't included in the graphic and they were relegated to and more. And the simple reason for that is because I'm still working on getting everybody in the schedule and in the event. I will be honest, I was a bit of a size queen, so I put a lot of the larger creators there because that'd be a bigger poll. But I also know a lot of these people, so I was able to reach out to them, as opposed to people I didn't know who I had to reach out to, get contact information with, and it was harder to confirm them as opposed to like Charlie, who, very cool for me, I can just message on Discord. So I hope that makes sense, but that's why the graphic didn't include people who aren't white dudes. Uh, and honestly, a bit of an error on my end for not just recognizing that. There's that like double back cringe Ludwig that we all know and love. I mean, he's, he's, he's fine in his response, but he's literally like, I don't want to have, you know, to tokenize these people. And then immediately he's like, sorry, it was an error on my end that I didn't tokenize them. You know, it just, it, it feels weird to make a really valid point and then immediately backtrack on it. But again, he's Ludwig. He doesn't want the drama. Now there was even more concern. It doesn't end. The Ludwig speedrunning event came out about how I thought it would. He's not a speedrunner, so he's not invested in growing the hobby. He had an idea for something he thought he could make money and grow his brand off of, and that's it. The call for runners was engagement bait. Now, this, this one kind of pissed me off because I'm not even making money on the event. The event is currently poised to lose $80,000, and that's just based off how much we've sold the event for the revenue minus the cost of goods, how much it costs to like fly everybody out there and set up the whole production for it, and that's fine. Honestly, a first event losing money is pretty normal. It happened for chess boxing. It happened for my live event. Usually, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, if it works out great, will start making money, which is also cool, but ultimately, for this one, I don't care too much. If it breaks even every year, that's cool, because the goal is to raise money for charity, not to make a lot of money. You know, Ludwig is just hammering the nail that is me. I mean, nailing me. I mean, he is hitting the nail on the head of valid responses in this video. I mean, of course, you know, you want to make some money to keep events going and stuff. But if it's for charity, the money shouldn't even be any sort of a driver to do this. And I do foresee it with people like Charlie and Ludwig. This will make a lot of money for a good charity. I mean, it's innocent kids who need food, right? So the fact that people or even upset is just kind of blowing my mind. And if the idea is that I'm somehow trying to use the speedrunning scene for clout, then I went to the wrong fucking community, brother. Like, let's be real with ourselves. The speedrunning community is not exactly the one that you go to for that, right? I, I would start uh, going to kick.com and then uh, uh, picking people's food off their tray. That's where the clout is nowadays. I would get Andrew Tate on the stream, but that, that is not at all it. I just think speedrunning is really cool, and I wanted to make something that I thought was cool. Plain and simple. You know, Ludwig didn't have to share that he's in a deficit of $80,000 or talk about the cost of flying people out. He didn't have to share any of that, really. And I think it's impressive that he did. And I do like the jab that he takes to kick.com and the no kizzy CSP or whatever his name is uh, clip. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> More concerns, if you're wondering why speedrunners are upset with Ludwig, think of it this way. Company posts an ad for a new IT job. Tons of qualified IT people I apply, but it doesn't matter. The ad is just for appearance because that job is always going to the boss's son. Also diversity. Now, this one is because I tweeted out about this event, or vaguely about this event, about a month ago. I said, I got a crazy idea for event. Uh, if there are any speedrunners who want to be a part of it, hit me up. Right? That was the tweet. Uh, and I actually had a shit ton of replies from this. Uh, and then people are assuming uh, that I actually didn't invite any people from this. I just invited all of my friends, which frankly just isn't true. Like in the video itself, I did say this. I never said this was like a speedrunner event for just speedrunners like GDQ. I said, I thought to myself, well, shit, I got a kick ass team here at Offbrand. I'm friends with a lot of amazing speedrun creators. What if I make my own charity speedrunning marathon event? The goal was always to create a charity speedrunning marathon event with my creator speedrunning friends. Like that, that was the goal. But I also wanted to include a ton of dope speedrunners. And from this tweet, 
I got a bunch of dope speed runners. Realistically, why would Ludwig choose to bring in like irrelevant streamers? And I know that sounds mean, but why on earth would irrelevant streamers be invited to this? When again, you need people who have established communities so that they can come in and bring more money to your event. And I know that sounds greedy, but where's that money going? It's going to kids that need to eat. And to these birds that get their feathers ruffled by this, I think like all of your favorite creators, if they've ever made an established event, they've either done it in private or done it in a similarly public way but they've already had creators that they really wanted within their you know event because it brings traction it's also even weird to me that people point out in his twitter that he's using speedrunners for clout when ludwig has a ridiculously higher average viewer count and viewer base than all these speedrunners do so i miss messages sometimes i'm still working on part of the schedule and i will have it out early next week and i know that is a fault of mine but i just assumed that based off my track record and the events i i'd done in the past that i i would have like the the good grace in, in like that little bit of charitability that, oh yeah, Ludwig probably isn't just going to do an event full of dudes and only his friends and, and not invite any of the people he tweeted out and, and replied to it. Like I assumed I would have that good grace. And maybe I was wrong to think that. By the way, there is no such thing as good grace on Twitter.com. I mean, clearly you could see that he's talked about women before these these posts went viral. He's talked about women that he's going to have on the team. He's talked about people of color that are going to be on the team. He's talked about, you know, finding people through his tweet instead of just cloud chasing. Nobody looks for that on Twitter. I can tell you that personally. Nobody looks for any of that. They see something at base value and they assume, or I guess in this case, they don't see something at base value and they assume the automatic word because I don't care how much money Elon Musk puts into Twitter, it is going to be the cancer of the internet for a very long time. But either way, this is not turning me off from the event. If anything, it makes me more excited to prove to everybody that we can make a kick-ass event, both for the people attending it and then the people online and the speedrunning community at large. I am not trying to take over anything I need to say this again. I am not trying to be a, a rival with anyone. I'm just trying to be the guy that I am making something that I think is cool with the resources that I have, both monetarily and like, you know, the friends, the contacts, the connections. I got to give major props to Ludwig. Um, he nailed it, like I said, and I'm actually excited to see this Fast 50 event. I think that they're going to do a lot that's not speedrunning, so I don't even know why the speedrunning community got so upset. And to the, the notion that he didn't have people of color or women in his, you know, graphic, I think it's just as bad to assume that they need to be there because, I mean, what, if somebody's a white male, do they not count as a speedrunner? Do they not have the same validation uh, at a practice that they've been going at for days on months on years i really don't care what the race or sex is i hope all these people in the event make a ton of money for these very in need and hungry children that is really all that matters make sure you guys please subscribe i'm so close to 4,000 subscribers and i'll see you guys next time